I decided to to make a mental connection that okay, let me just act as though is connected to me mentally so that I don't have to think about the pain attached to it. So, hello, welcome to my channel again. I was saying a story about when I had when my dad passed away, what was my reaction? I was given a story time and now this is the part two. If you are if you have not watched the part one, I'll put the link below so you can go back and catch up with us and then to continue and my on my experience so in the last part i mentioned how i was just laughing in the beginning but this is when things actually got serious it was i think six months later hmm was i was i have all kind of feelings all kind of dreams oh all kind of tears everything was just all emotions were just coming at once thinking about my dad every time trying to um trying to listen to voice notes that were automatically saved on my phone just to listen to his voice i decided to to make a mental connection that okay let me just act as though is connected to me mentally so that I don't have to think about the pain attached to it. Why? It wasn't an easy ordeal. Six months went by. One year later, I'm still very miserable. It's like, at this point, I'm emotionally drained. I'm already, because that that was not even the only issue I had some other issues that I couldn't deal with at, at the same time but they were just happening all at once it drained me every time I would think if you were if you were alive this would not happen if you were alive this would not happen it's like oh my goodness it's it was really tough and afterwards i think he passed away let me see in 2017 and i'll tell you now i would say i'm in a better space to be honest i would only say i think i've accepted it that it has happened and now I need to move forward so at some point I had to like I, re I really rationalized everything <laughs> because I normally think everything through I was like let me rationalize everything so I rationalized I rationalized I was like thinking how 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 but since I couldn't get my answer to how I began to accept okay it has happened so move on move on with my life and here I am from the experience and I'm done from that school which I which which I was when he passed away and I'm sure you'll be up there or wherever he may be smiling that oh you made me proud you finished and not an other I just want to get this out of the way I, I'm just saying this because so many people feel that when someone is grieving you have to grieve in certain ways no no there is no there is no certain way you are of course there are five stages of grief that every human being will will eventually follow whether consciously or unconsciously or whether it is immediately or in the long term we still have to go through all five stages of grief which i will be talking about 
in the next week in my next video but aside from following that five stages of grief the emotions itself it comes in different scenario like look at me for example i was laughing in the beginning i was laughing in the beginning but who knew that all the emotions would just come like like a rain like rainfall or should i say waterfall just come rushing weighing me down all at once further down the line i think the problem was i suppressed my emotions which i wouldn't say if it's right or wrong but i would advise anyone of course not to suppress the emotions it helps to talk about things if you really want to get things out of your chest it helps but i wouldn't say this is the right or wrong way to approach different situations it's just it's just what it is however you feel it is however you you're going to show it however there is no perfect way to express grief. The, it, and in, <laughs> even though you would say <laughs> there is a manner that you have to follow, that everybody will follow. Some people will cry, they'll bow their eyes out. Sometimes I, 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 I'm, really, I'm really envious of such kind of people. If you can really bow your eyes out, hmm, you can get it out of your way. But still, who says that's the end of it? But, I'm just thinking you most likely going to be less if you if you have all those emotions now and some people they just think is to stay away from people I think partly I was that kind of person I really want to stay away or cut myself away from people I think I'm still, I still am experiencing that or there was a kind of rapid change. It's like, um, how would I call it? Uh, is it, should I call it an advanced kind of maturity that you just get from this? You just move on and suddenly it's like, you see yourself as very much right now like you're a different mental space after everything and you just feel like you're born ready and ready to conquer the world now you can see the world on your palms and there is nothing there is nothing um but there's no stuff i mean there's nothing or no stumbling block that could that could tear you apart because it, it it will make you feel like you've been ripped apart remaining your bones your flesh have been ripped apart or you were born and you woke up from the dead this is an exaggeration but it just it just kind of feel like that and when you wake up it's all over and and you find out that the world continues to move. The world continues to to run its course, not waiting for you. So you run with the with the world's course. So that's how it goes, and that was how it went for me. So. Let me know about your experience. I wouldn't really say if you're comfortable enough to share in the comment section how your experience was. We are all here for you to talk about um, our lives or should I say is a way to ease of depression because there's a stage of grief that involves depression. So, and it could be a really, really silent stage, which people can go in. Some people come out on the other side, but some people really go deep and it, it brings them down. So, if you really want to talk about it, I'm here to listen. 
um, as much as I can. I will give my condolences. Is this is not really a video about sympathy? I think it's more of I want to put out, put myself out there, and just let you know that you're not alone. Like people go through these emotions. If you're the type like me that just laugh about everything, most things in life are funny to me. Whether the word being laughed about or not, that's just the way. That's just my defense mechanism. I just laugh through everything, and people may say, I may think I'm serious or not, but they don't know what I am thinking or going through. But it's up to me to know what what really like bothers me. without them knowing so we have come to the end of this video if you like it then leave a thumbs up um, subscribe share to your friends and family and also don't forget to comment I would love to read what people have gone through grief it could be about a, a, a loved one that has been lost it could be about job anything at all feel free to share your mind like i said here is a positive space and we're not here to fight we're not here to stop you from voicing out your opinion you can say whatever you want we're all gonna try to be respectful about each other Okay, bye-bye. See you in my next video.